Hey guys, welcome to part six of my working Iron Man suit. So as usual, I'm just gonna go through what I've done uh, since last video. So yeah, let's get started. Um, I've done actually quite a bit since the last video. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few differences. Uh, I did some work on the chest piece. Uh, I added, or I mounted the flamethrower on the suit. Um, mounted everything. Actually, I um, got rid of the old mounting system and I um, I did something a little bit different. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you guys that. Got the flamethrower on, uh, got a few more lights on. So yeah, let's just get to it. Alright, so if we come around here to the back, you can see there's actually quite a bit going on. Um, I've mounted the flamethrower, so that's what these two things are. Um, I've mounted the circuit board and everything like that. Well, actually, I uh, took off the main piece. Uh, I took off the Arduino. Um, got the batteries mounted. Uh, got another battery mounted. Um, got the pilot light mounted. So one thing that's pretty interesting is um, this whole flamethrower piece can actually come off. So I designed it so you can unsnap these buckles, unsnap this buckle, and uh, unsnap one more down here, and um, undo this tube right here. And there's actually a clip right here. Actually a clip right here that you can undo. And then this whole flamethrower will actually pop right off. So if I ever need to repair that. Uh, yeah, so this basically just works by, uh, as I said in the last video, this basically works by having an electronic on-off switch powered by a 9 volt. Um, this wire just goes up to my wrist so I can control it from my wrist. So I flip this is the main switch right here. So uh, if I turn that on, uh, everything turns on. Got the wrist lights, got the chest lights, and I actually added on um, uh, more lights on the chest because I felt like it just needed a little bit more. You can never have too many lights, right? So I added on that kind of X pattern. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So uh, I've also started doing a little bit more work on the helmet. Um, I'm gonna add a top piece right here. Obviously it doesn't look that good right now, but that will change. Um, got all the lights hooked up to the suit uh, with this switch so you can disconnect the helmet if you ever, for some reason, don't want to wear the helmet with the suit. Um, one thing you'll notice is that even when I disconnected the eye lights stay on. Uh, that's because I wanted the option of just having the eye lights. Like kind of like an Iron Man movie when all you see are his eyes lit up. I wanted that option, so I didn't want it hooked up to the main um, to the main power source, so I uh, just um, put a small battery pack in here and uh, gave it a switch on the side where I can turn on and off the lights. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, one other thing I did was mounted this wrist gun. Uh, I didn't show this in the last video, but basically uh, if you switch on this switch right here, um, that'll turn on the wrist gun and then all I have to do is just uh, press this button right here on uh, my hand and I'll start shooting. So as you can see, let me just get it. Can't really see the BBs on camera, but uh, they're shooting. Uh, I'll just kind of show you how the gun looks when it shoots. So, there we go. So yeah palm light right there too. All right, and I also got the flamethrower mounted onto the suit itself. So yeah, let's go check that out. So uh, I hope you guys like what I've done with the seat so far. Uh, I really think it's coming together. Uh, won't be too long before I'm done. I'd say by the end of the summer I'm, I'll be done. So uh, that's the goal. Yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to share it around, uh, like it, um, comment, subscribe, all the good things. 
so yeah, this is probably the biggest project I've ever built. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. So leave it in the comments below. Uh, stay tuned for part seven. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh,